just want to first of all congratulate all of you for sitting through what an endgame. I mean, I, I, I love it. I told the people of Ann Arbor, you might have to give razor blades on the way out so they can slit their wrists. But, um... okay, what is a very strange book, to put it mildly, a quote from Beckett? I think he got Watt down perfectly, honestly. Uh, to me, the book Watt is all about uh, nothing presented as something. And while he can't do all the repetition, the repetitious work that is shown in the actual book, I think he did a very good job sticking to the book. I used to carry Watt around in my bag, but for years I never read it. I read snippets of it. I had it there just to be cool, I guess, you know, just to say, oh, I read Beckett. But it was very good. I was most impressed. And just the fact that he had memorized all of that was incredible to me. I mean, if you think of something like Endgame, uh, that is a production we've seen, and the image of that play on stage will stay with you forever. You, you go back to it the way you would do a nonverbal art. Uh, it's, it's, it has staying power. The image, I mean, it's one of the great effects of Beckett in the theater, is that the image as it fades provides a fixed image in your imagination. I had forgotten about making something out of nothing. Speaking about nothing, you have to make it something. I'd forgotten all that, that wonderful language. They are wordsmiths. They, they need to play with language. And sometimes for, if plot and meaning and character and time scale get in the way of language, they'll ride roughshod right over it. And I think Beckett does that. Beckett's problem as a young um, uh, aspiring writer was that he was too well educated in, in, in theories and texts of literature. Uh, Beckett was, uh, knew Latin, he knew Greek, he knew German literature. It's a marvelous source of a, of a mind that is encyclopedic, but clearly cannot settle down. I have often said that without Beckett, we would have a very different Pinter. And without Pinter, we would have had a very different Mamet. And without Mamet, we'd have had a different Quentin Tarantino. And without Tarantino, we might have had a very different Martin McDonough. Because the way that even an inflection on a word can change an entire text, or uh, the bringing out of a certain trait in a certain character. Um, so I also like watching it because like, after reading the literature, it really takes on life when you watch it. I love Samuel Beckett.